Hey, welcome to PL900 Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals certification course. In this certification course, I will help you understand the overview of Power Apps, Common Data Service, Power Automate, Power BI, and Power Virtual Agents. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I'm going to be your trainer for this entire course. I am certified at an expert level on both Azure and Microsoft 365. You can connect to me via LinkedIn, search for my first name and last name, and you will be able to find me. All the study materials I use on this tutorial will be available at aguidetocloud.com. You can connect to me via Twitter as well for any future updates. So let's have a look at the skills measured on this particular certification course. There are six study areas on this examination. Microsoft expects you to understand how to describe the business value of Power Platform and you need to identify the core components included within the Power Platform as well. Another area which you need to focus on to understand the capabilities around Power BI and the capabilities around Power Apps as well. And most importantly, you need to understand what are the business values of Power Virtual Agents as well. On the right hand side, you can see the weightage. The higher the weightage, that means that the more questions you are likely going to get on this examination. So for the ease of understanding, I have divided this tutorial into six different modules. Towards the end of each module, there is a knowledge check as well. In the knowledge check, I will basically take you through few question answers so you understand what sort of a questions you can expect on this exam. But in no way I am telling that the questions what I have on the module review is going to be the questions which you're going to get on the actual examination. Let's look at some of the examination basics. You can expect between 40 to 60 questions in that exam. Try to answer all the questions because there is no penalty for guessing. So even if you don't know a particular answer, there is no penalty for guessing. So try to answer all the questions. The examination is going to be around 180 minutes. So we can expect 150 minutes for question answers and 30 minutes for any sort of preparation, commenting, instruction, reporting, etc. Sometimes there are going to be more than multiple choice questions as well. You may end up having an active screen question or a drag and drop or a multiple choice or list or built list, etc. For PL900, there are not going to be any case studies or labs. But for advanced examinations, you can expect case studies or lab sections as well. So in the next video, we're going to start our first module and the first lesson of this PL900. And I really hope the tutorials are going to be useful for your examination preparation. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.